Ooh. I might just have to. All right, I'm gonna get this little bit of vlog in before my tea is done steeping. Um, so I wanted to tell a story of the bookmarks that I just randomly ended up using on each of these books um, as I finished them, or as I read them. Um, and when I finished, like by the end, I realized like, I don't know how, but I chose very uh, appropriate bookmarks for the books I was reading. So for example, uh, this book, my grandmother asked me to tell you she's sorry, is set in England, and I can tell because it uses the M-U-M -M mom, uh, even though they translated biscuits to cookies. Um, and the bookmark that ended up getting stuck in here was the concert ticket for the one time I went to see John Cleese at the uh, Oregon Symphony. The next bookmark from The Stranger was also very appropriate because, you know, it's about this guy uh, murdering somebody and then getting uh, executed for it. But the way it's written is very existential and it asks a lot of like these very just interesting questions. Um, and the bookmark I was using for that is this postcard of art by Georgia O'Keeffe. Uh, what'd she call it? Horse's skull with pink rose. Um, and I just thought it was appropriate uh, because a lot of O'Keeffe's art is just this very uh, smoothly blended, very acerbic close-up looks at flowers and skulls and just that interplay between uh, death and life. So I just thought it was very appropriate. Um, and then the funnest book, the one I picked up first, uh, I chose this little rainbow sticker as my bookmark because, you know, it was a, it was a gay old time. It was a really fun book. Um, and the other two books in my finish my book challenge uh, I haven't gotten to yet and none of those actually had bookmarks in them um, but I just thought it was really weird that I have managed to choose appropriate bookmarks for each of the books um, so yeah just wanted to kind of share that moment and also get, talk a little bit about the books I've managed to finish so yeah